Today, I'll show you how to boost colours in an image by applying adjustments in lab mode. This is great for making the most of photos that you thought would look great, but unfortunately didn't measure up when you put them on the computer. Ordinarily, you use the RGB colour mode to create, display and edit images. This is fine, but lab mode can describe a greater range of colours and match the full spectral range that we can see with our eyes. Editing in lab mode enables you to make professional, realistic edits to colour and contrast in your image. So let's get started. First, we need to switch to lab mode. From the image menu at the top, click colour mode, lab 16 bits channel. OK, let's apply an adjustment. We'll go for a curves adjustment, a favourite technique of professional photographers. In lab mode, this adjustment is especially useful as you have full control of lightness independently of A and B colour channels. On the Adjustments tab on the right, click Curves. You can see that an adjustment layer called Curves has been added to the Layers tab. This provides a non-destructive approach and allows you to experiment freely without worrying about affecting the original photo. There are various presets available when applying a curves adjustment, but today we'll make changes manually. The lightness channel is currently selected, which lets you edit the channel independently. On the curves graph, select the midpoint of the graph and pull it upwards very slightly to lighten your image. This will create a convex curve that rounds outwards. If you click the arrow next to the channel drop down list, you'll see two other channels, A and B. These channels can be used to adjust colour. A popular curve setting would be to apply an S curve to the A channel, increasing colour in your image. To do this, drag the line down in the shadow region towards the left of the graph. Then, drag the line up in the highlight regions to the right of the graph. You can see that the colours are boosted in doing so. The exact shape of your curve will vary depending on the image you're using. Use your visual judgement to decide what works best. Next, we'll repeat this process with the B channel. Select it from the drop down list and then create a gentle S curve as you did before. Let's have a look at how this image compares to the original. On the Layers tab next to the Curves layer, click the Hide Show Layer button to make the layer's contents temporarily invisible. Use this button to toggle the layer on and off and see how the colours have been boosted successfully. Finally, we'll export our finished image. From the File menu at the top left of the workspace, click Export. The Export Optimizer will be displayed. The currently selected file format and resulting file size is displayed above the preview image. On the Options tab, choose a format, for example JPEG, from the Format drop-down list. Experiment with format-specific settings to see how they affect the visual appearance of the image and its file size. JPEG is great because it produces a smaller file size. However, if there is transparency present in your image, use the PNG file format and set the bit depth to 32 to ensure that transparency is honoured. When you're happy, click Export. In the Save As dialog, select a folder and enter a file name. Then click Save. And that's it. To find out more about PhotoPlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.